guys, hope you're all doing well. So it is currently 7.30 on a Tuesday night and I had this urge to declutter my wardrobe. And I thought, you know what, I am going to film this whole process because I feel as though I might have some helpful tips for any of you who have set a goal for 2023 to start your capsule wardrobe journey. So this task has been on my to-do list since the 1st of January and it is causing quite a roadblock because this is the first step that I like to take before making any fashion purchases. So I have been seeing some really cool things pop up on Depop and obviously some really cool sales happen happening online and I have been refraining myself from making any purchases because I'm like I have to go through declutter and work out what I have first before buying anything new. And the reason I do that is because I am so sick of buying things and then being stuck with them if I they don't go with anything in my wardrobe they're not comfortable or I just don't like wearing them um, then it just creates so much effort to try and sell these items now this whole wardrobe journey is such a work in progress I have now been on the whole capsule wardrobe thing for about two years solid maybe coming on three years and I am still learning and still making mistakes so if you are out there and 2023 is your year to be more sustainable with your fashion and your purchasing behavior, then all I can say is don't be overwhelmed. It is definitely a journey and all you can do is start. It's better than not doing anything at all. So it's been a while since I've done any kind of capsule wardrobe related videos and that is because I have not been loving my wardrobe at all and the items that I do have in there I have been wearing over and over and over again and I'm kind of it's just feeling a little bit stale so I need to go through work out what pieces I can sell on and then start making a wish list and that is the key word for 2023 wish list I want to make sure that I start writing things down onto a list before making the purchase and if they are still on my list after say a month or two months then I will say yes and go ahead and purchase that item so the first step in this whole process is to go through every item in your wardrobe and only hold on to things that you love and by love I mean items that are visually appealing to you and go with your style that are comfortable and items that go with a lot of other pieces in your wardrobe if a piece ticks all three of those boxes then 100% hold on to it and if it falls outside of that I promise you sell it on and use that money to buy something more useful so once you've decided which items you are going to let go of it is time to start listing them on either Depop, Facebook Marketplace and if you are someone who is in Europe or the UK I believe you have a site called Vinted and I've heard it's really amazing for selling your pre-loved items so start listing items first because again you'll be able to use that money to make the purchases on your wish list so you really want to get those items up and get them sold so when it comes to pricing my items to sell I am pretty ruthless I like to have quite a low price on them and then in my description of my deep profile I always have um, free shipping on bundles um, don't hesitate to message me I am definitely negotiable on all the prices just basically letting people know that I am open to any offers that you may have because guys the reality is I've already made the purchase I've already said goodbye to that money and the last thing that I want to do is hold on to it and hold on to it just because I want to try and get the majority of that money back but at the end of the day that is not helping anyone and I just need to cut my losses and let it go I often see people trying so hard to keep their prices up on Depop and they just don't end up selling any of their items so you have to be ruthless and you have to be willing to let go and again this process is time consuming so don't get too overwhelmed maybe set a little goal of uploading two items to Depop or Facebook marketplace per day and then before you know it all your clothes will be up and you will start making some sales so with all of that being said I have a rack in front of me of items that I have pulled out of my wardrobe that I am willing to sell and willing to say goodbye to and I need to start putting these onto Depop
once you've put everything that you no longer want in another room and up for sale, it's time to go back into your wardrobe and reassess everything that you've decided to hold on to. Now, I personally love to use Canva. I rave about Canva, but it is just such a great tool to create vision boards and um, get a visual kind of diary is what I use it for. But another app that's really good is obviously Pinterest. So create a Pinterest board and start saving photos like outfit inspo photos and get a little bit of a capsule wardrobe style going. Now your tips for capsule wardrobe is obviously to stick to neutral colors and ones that all go with each other. As time goes on, you definitely can bring in a little bit of color and um, you know bring in some additional accessories. But if you are someone who is starting your journey and you need to declutter and just really downsize your wardrobe, it's always a good idea to start with neutrals. So on Pinterest, I just create like a capsule wardrobe board and I just have fun with this process. I go through my feed and anything that I see, an outfit that I really love and just I feel I'm gravitating towards, I'll add it to that board. And yeah, it might take me a few nights to just go through, add things that I like. And again, this can happen over time. So yeah, don't get too overwhelmed and don't feel like it needs to happen overnight. And then once I look at my style board, I kind of connect the dots and work out where the common denominators lie. So I find that in mine, there are a lot of black long sleeve linen button up shirts um, paired with light colored shorts. There's also a lot of linen kind of shorts, uh, a lot of nice kind of sandals. So yeah, just trying to work out where all the common denominators are and make note of them and write them down. I then jump into Canva and this is where I pull together a little bit of a vision board of all of the items I already own and they don't have to be exact so if I know I have a pair of high-waisted denim shorts I just look that up on Google and copy and paste an image of high-waisted denim shorts it doesn't have to be the exact brand or anything but visually they look the same and I kind of do that with all of my main pieces in my wardrobe so that way when I search an item that's on my wish list I drag that in and I can see whether it goes with everything that I already own. And some of you guys might be watching this thinking, oh my gosh, this takes so much time, it's quite pedantic. But I really enjoy this. It's a little bit of a hobby of mine. And I think if you gave it a go, you would probably enjoy this whole process as well because there is something about taking control of your fashion and knowing that you're working towards your dream capsule wardrobe. So I look at women on Pinterest who have a beautiful, sleek, kind of clean girl look, a bit of Parisian vibes. They have a Chanel handbag and just really beautiful quality clothing. And a part of me when I'm doing this process makes me feel like that will be me if I just keep at it and keep making smarter purchasing decisions. So as you can see, our dream wardrobe is achievable. If you are someone who goes through your wardrobe, has a declutter, look at all the items that you are getting rid of and think about how much money you spent on that. And you very quickly realize that all of that money that you spent on all of those clothes could be put towards some really beautiful quality pieces that you could probably have for a lifetime. I thought I would show you guys um, a little bit of my style board as to what I'm aiming for and run through what is on my wish list because I thought you guys might be interested and if you've seen any of my previous capsule wardrobe videos you would probably have an understanding of what items I own so yeah you might be interested to see what I am currently looking out for so brands that I am loving at the moment are Arquette, Mango and Coz and these are brands that often pop up whenever I watch other capsule wardrobe videos and I've never really had them on my radar but I have found hands down the most perfect basic tee on COS so that is linked on my website I'll link my website below and go have a look over there on the shop and yeah I've linked my capsule wardrobe items there but that t-shirt is amazing and now I'm looking at all the other items from COS and I'm like oh my gosh they have such great basics Arquette, often when I'm watching capsule wardrobe videos or people who have similar style to me, a lot of their clothing is from Arquette, so I'm yet to dabble with that. I haven't purchased anything yet, but I'm definitely looking at that brand. It is on my radar. I actually bought this black long denim skirt from 
mango and I absolutely love it. I did make a purchase but guys this a long skirt has been on my wish list for quite a long time and I've been umming and ahhing about it but I wear jeans so often so I know that black denim is something that I'm going to wear and I took the plunge and I'm so glad I did. I wore it to work today and I can just see this is going to be something that I am going to wear to death. So with Canva, I obviously started my collage of everything that I already own and started to bring in things that were on my wish list. And very quickly there were items that I saw that wouldn't go with everything, so I got rid of them, removed them from my wish list, but there's some that um, remained. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is actually a COS leather crossbody bag. I don't think you can get it here on the Australian site, but I know in the UK they do sell them in black and also like a chocolate brown, and that is on my wish list. And the reason why I haven't gone ahead and purchased it is because the whole purpose of my wish list is to wait a month or two before I make that purchase because Right now it's on my radar, but am I going to want it in a couple of months? I'm not sure. So I've popped it on my wish list for sure. The second thing is a COS white t-shirt. So the basic um, tees that I was talking about, I have a navy one and a black one. And the only reason I didn't buy the white one at the time was because they were out of stock. But I have been wearing the black one and the navy so much um, that I definitely want to add a white one. And I know that I'll wear it a lot. Navy also is something that has been on my radar. Um, I've never really worn a lot of navy items, obviously denim, um, but actual clothes like linen and stuff like that in a navy kind of color, I am in love with it at the moment. It's very sleek, very elegant. It's quite a versatile color, and if you are someone like me with quite a neutral color palette with some beige and black and white, Adding navy goes with everything. It looks so nice with like cream denim shorts or cream jeans. I think they are a match made in heaven, navy and cream. Another thing on my wish list is a white blouse. Now, I my white blouse that I did have, it was like a beautiful silky kind of button up shirt. I had that for years. It was actually my grandma's and I got it off her and I have been wearing it for the last few years and there was a hole and I kind of sewed up the hole and just the fabric was just getting quite worn and it was actually um, kind of getting a little bit discolored so I ended up donating that it wasn't even worth selling like I it was just completely ruined so I have added a white blouse to my wish list because they again are so versatile you can dress them up dress them down and that is something that I have been missing in my wardrobe since I got rid of it another item on my wish list is a pair of brown sandals all of my sandals are black and I find that sometimes when I'm wearing navy with my cream denim shorts Black can sometimes be a little bit harsh and if I had some tan kind of little sandals that would be perfect. So they're on my wish list and then the last item I have on there are a pair of linen kind of shorts because I used to have a pair and again I just wore them so often I'm pretty sure they got stained because they were white and I ended up parting with them but I have missed them this summer so I'm definitely on the hunt for a pair of those. Um, and speaking of all the items on your wish list make sure that you kind of prioritize so when you're ready to buy something work out which ones are more important so the blazer is nowhere near as important as the white basic tee so yeah it's about prioritizing and obviously getting the items that you need now and I'm so excited now that I have a lot of items on Depop hopefully over the next couple of weeks those items will sell and I'll have some money in my PayPal account to use to buy some new pieces so I love that whole process. I don't know, it's just super exciting to me and it just feels really good knowing it's almost like you're buying things for free just by putting in this little bit of work. So anyway guys, that will bring this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and I hope it encourages you and inspires you to be a little more purposeful with your purchasing behavior and to create a little bit of a vision board and just start your capsule wardrobe journey. And don't forget, if you haven't already entered my YSL card holder giveaway, make sure you do. I will be drawing that next week. So go ahead on my channel. If you head to the community page, you can enter there. There should be a giveaway post. Or if you follow me on Instagram, head over there. There will be a giveaway post over there. Make sure you enter. You just have to um, leave a friend tag below 
follow me, subscribe to my channel, and then you're in the draw to win the YSL card holder. So I'm so excited to draw that. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. It has been amazing. I often get messages from you guys on both YouTube and over on Instagram saying that you really enjoy my content and it gives me the motivation that I need to keep going because I absolutely love my YouTube channel. It is a total hobby of mine. But some days you just don't really feel like picking up the camera and filming. But when you guys send me a message saying you enjoy my videos or you find my um, content entertaining, it really does make me just, I want to film. It's not a chore anymore. So thank you guys so much for that. So anyway guys, good luck with your wardrobe reset. Um, let me know in the comments what items are on your wish list, what handbags, accessories, clothing. I would absolutely love to know. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.